Hi guys, Laws of Bags here. Welcome back. So I'm here to do a review of a bag that I have wanted for many, many years now. Not many years, sorry. Many, many months. And as you can see, it's the Neil Alma BB in the Noir color. And you may know that I have the Alma BB in the Damia Bin print, but I've always actually wanted this one. Um, and I only bought the Damia Bin style because it was right before a price increase and I really wanted the Alma in my collection. So I just went ahead and bought that one. But really, I wanted this one. And I have never actually seen this bag in person. So this is the first time I'm seeing it. I purchased it through my essay. So it was shipped to me. And so, yeah, this is it. It's this beautiful black color. And I'm just going to go ahead and take out the packaging a little bit so you guys can get a better view of the bag. And I can show you all what fits on the inside and let you see the inside interior. So here it is. It's this beautiful black um, prompt leather. It has the LV embossing all around. And it comes with this beautiful top handle here, as you can see. And it has this gold zipper. And it also comes with this beautiful clochette here that has the keys on the inside. And right there it says Louis Vuitton Paris on it. And as you can see at the bottom here, it also says Louis Vuitton Paris as well. And yeah, and just this beautiful deep embossing there, as you can see, just has LV all around. And then on the little gold buttons here, it has Louis Vuitton on it and it says the same on both. And the same thing on the other side as well, it says Louis Vuitton. And so, yeah, so now I'm going to show you the bottom of the bag. It comes with four feet here. And on the feet, it says Louis Vuitton. I'm, I don't think you all can see that. And then on the inside, it's this beautiful yellow mustard color. And it's fi microfiber lining. Um, and it just has one open interior there. And then a slip pocket on the side there, as you can see. And the slip pocket is a little loose, um, so just be careful if you're putting stuff inside. It might fall out. And then as you can see, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France there. And so, yeah, that is a little bit of how the bag looks. Oh, and I forgot here on the zipper, it says Louis Vuitton on both sides of the zipper. And it's two zipper sides, so which is nice. Makes for an easier um, opening there. So, yeah, it's a beautiful little bag. And as you can see there, I um, just want you guys to get a little bit of a view of it. And I will put on the uh, screen what the measurements are. I can't recall at the moment. And these are just some packaging that came on the inside of the bag. And here, the lock that goes with the keys on the clochette is housed in this little uh, pouch there. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys the keys there on the clochette. And then I'm going to open up the little pouch and show you all what the lock looks like. It's actually an interesting lock. I have never, I guess maybe never examined the lock stock closely, but as you can see here, it says LV. And then at the bottom here, there's a number there. It says 677. I'm not sure what that stands for, but if anyone knows, definitely let me know. Um, I've just never noticed that. Maybe perhaps all the locks come with, with those um with the numbers on them but yeah just wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit of uh, some of the packaging that came with the bag and it um, the lock sits in this little pouch here and then here I'm just going to show you all the strap it's non-adjustable and it's the guitar strap but it gets um and here you can see the uh, where it clips onto the bag. It just has LV there on both sides there. And it's the beautiful shiny gold. 
And this strap is interesting. It's a guitar strap, but it gets um, wider as you get closer to the shoulder part of it, which is actually really nice, which means that it will sit very comfortably on the shoulders if you crossbody it. And obviously, um, if you shoulder carried it as well. And then there it says Louis Vuitton Paris right on the top there. And like I said, it's non-adjustable, but the length is not bad crossbody on me. And I'm about five, eight and a half actually, and about a size 14. So that is it. I think now I'm going to try to get a couple of items and see what all can fit in this little cutie. So just give me a little, a few minutes and I'll just grab a couple of SLGs and see um, what all can fit in here. So here I have a couple of items here. I have my Karagami medium pouch and that goes in and sits right there. And then I have my, um, my zippy coin purse and that goes there. And I also have my round coin purse and that goes there. And I have my YSL card holder and yeah so you see they all sit nicely and there's lots more room for more items and i have my phone and that's uh an iphone 11 i believe and that sits perfectly there as you can see and there's still room for more but i think that well i'll put my gum in and i will try to zip it up and up oh, let me put my airpods in i think that can fit obviously just slide right in there and my key clay goes in as well there and as you can see everything fits fine and I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up and it zips up fine um, as you can see there's a little bit of puckering there in the middle there but otherwise everything fits okay um, I'd probably take away some things just to get rid of that indentation there but otherwise everything fits fine and that's the thing with the Alma BB just given the shape of it you have to be pretty careful about how you put things in because it could really affect um, how things look once you zip them up but here let me take out my Kirigami pouch and put my mini pochette in and that fits fine as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and again, zip that up for you all. And it zips up fine. And actually there's no indentation in the middle. It actually looks really, really good with my mini coin purse in there. And I'm sorry, my mini pochette in there as opposed to the Kirigami medium pouch. So that looks great. Um, so I'm gonna put that down and I think I may be able to fit my um, sunglass case in, but before I do that, let me just show you all what it looks like as compared to my Evelyn TPM. And as you can see, so, sort of similar in height, but clearly the width is a lot wider with the Alma BB. And just given the style of the Alma BB, it fits a lot more than the Evelyn TPM. So there, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of these two there. I'll go ahead and remove the Evelyn TPM and just kind of show you all the Ama BB again. As you can see, it just looks really good. A little heavy, but um, with the strap, you can certainly cross-body it if you're going to carry this much stuff. And I like the versatility of this bag because you can hand-hold it, you know, and take out the strap and just kind to make it look girly and here i'm just gonna show you all my damia bin alma bb and again very similar in style and size but obviously two different um materials the the emperor one is leather and a lot more malleable whereas the damia bin is a lot more structured so i think if you compare the things that can go in, I think the Alma Umprompt would probably fit more than the Damia Bin one just because of how the bags are made. But if you want to see a comparison or um, more in-depth comparison of the two, I am happy to do that for you all. But just wanted to show you all both bags side by side. And so, yeah. 
I think that is it for this video, guys. Um, let me know what you think of these two bags or really my Umpron Ama BB if you have it. How are you getting on with it? Do you prefer it over the Damier Abin style? And as always, if you like this video, give it a, a like and uh, definitely check out my other videos and consider subscribing. Thank you as always for watching and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.